Today I'm going to talk about another aria from Mozart's Le Nozze di Figaro. I know I promised I was going to revisit I Giavinta la Causa, but I thought let's go to a different fach and let's give a chance to uh, the mezzo-sopranos among you. If you're a young mezzo-soprano and if you're preparing the role of Cherubino, I have a recommendation for your characterization of him. Um, let's look at Cherubino. I would say he's 14, 15 years old. That is the awkward age of puberty, when your body is changing and you don't quite understand what is happening to you. Your nose is getting bigger, you start to grow a beard, you start to smell, your skin is bad, and that's why you're becoming very inhibited. You're becoming self-conscious for the first time. Also because you have these sexual urges and attractions to others, and you realize that you try to control your effects that you have on others, but you don't quite know how to do that yet. So all these elements come together to make you quite inhibited. That is for me a key element of the character. And I often see it in productions where he's bouncing all over the place and I realize you're playing him like he's 11. There's no inhibition. But inhibition is a very important part. Also, Cherubino is a poet. He's very romantic. That means that there's actually, he's really an introvert also because he's expressing himself through words, right? So keep that in mind. What's happening here? He's arriving on the scene for the first time and he's coming to see his confidant, Susanna, his friend. Very important distinction. At that age, when you have a friend or a confidant, you are usually not sexually attracted to that friend. That is very sophisticated, something that you might learn later in life. Or you might fall in love with that person, in which case you would behave differently. So I am not very happy when I see in a production uh, Cherubino humping Susano uh, like if, as if he was a, a horny rabbit. That's wrong. He's coming to confess to her what is happening to him. He's opening up and he's showing his whole vulnerability and it's not funny. So, let's... Uh, also, again, um, this is a very good example where you can actively go against the music in this area. Non so più. Ah, not in your singing, obviously, but in your physicality. Let's listen. You hear that nervous vibe? That vibe, that nervousness, that is inside. You do not need to show it with your body. You don't need to bounce around like a ping pong ball. That's what an 11 year old would do. Not someone in that position that Cherubino is in. So the idea is more for me that he's sitting down there with his elbows on the table. <sighs> And he's, there's like this volcano that wants to eru uh, erupt, but he's trying to contain it. And it's almost going to happen. Here we go. He's trying to explain. Ah, boom. No, take it back. <gasps> no. He's taking it back. I'm ice, I'm fire, and every woman that I see makes me shiver. But I'm trying to hold it in because if I burst out, they might actually not like it. So I, I'm trying to figure out how to behave here. I'm thinking of nothing else but love. I just hear it and boom, I want to talk about it. When I'm awake and when I'm sleeping, all I want to know uh, do is express it and send it out into the world. Wouldn't it be wonderful if I had the freedom to actually do this? And what would be even better is if they would actually listen. I don't know anymore what I am. I'm ice, I'm fire, I'm hot, I'm cold, and I'm blushing every time I see a woman. How embarrassing is that? How embarrassing? So you're trying to hide it. It's not like, ah, I'm blushing. It's, I'm blushing. Okay, very important. It's, it's, a, it's an exaltation that's inside by an introvert who's admitting it to a friend. It's terrible. God, God, you know, he doesn't like it. It's not fun to, to, to blush. When I'm awake, when I'm asleep, I think of nothing else but love. When I'm asleep, 
I think of nothing else but love. You know how 14, 15 year old boys always look tired in the morning? They haven't slept very well. They spent the whole night masturbating. Sorry. <laughs> the whole world to know but I don't know how to tell it I want to send it out and yet when I do it's just disappearing there's no echo there's no echo but that's actually what I want I want to send it out because I want something back and it's not coming back because I don't know how to send it out yet that's the awkward age Again, trying to understand, I'm doing it as I can. I'm trying with tenderness to tell the elements and everyone about what I feel. And I'm sending it out, and I'm sending it out, and I'm sending it out. Anybody listening? I make it as beautiful as I can. And yet, I'm sending it out again, and there it goes. Far away, far away, far away. It's gone and when it's gone I'm completely alone the whole world is crumbling and getting very dark nobody listens to me and when that happens when nobody wants to listen when nobody wants to give me love what am I going to do? I'm going to give it to myself. I'm going to give myself the instant gratification that I really need, which is a beautiful pleasure mixed with guilt. You got a problem with that? Well, I'm going to do it anyway. There you have it. Poor Kerubino. Have fun with it.